You know, I never thought I'd be back to making Pokemon noises, but lo and behold, here I am. Though this time it's a bit different. This video is inspired by a challenge that voice actress Marissa Lenti issued. She did a video where she predicted what a Pokemon's anime counterpart might sound like in Sun and Moon, given its mannerisms and how it looks, and this was something right up my alley, so I decided to follow suit. I know that the Sun and Moon anime is already well underway in Japan and is just getting started in English at the time of this recording, and some of the Pokemon I cover already have voices, but I still wanted to try Try this regardless. And for some of them, they're my own interpretations of what I think they'd sound like. Not to disrespect any VA out there doing the voices already, of course. And I'll be giving a bit of insight on how I come up with each voice too, just like Marissa did. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. No better place to start than with the starters, and Rowlet, I always imagined he would do something like a little hoot, a la hoot hoot. Not say his full name, maybe something like Raul, Raul, Raul. Dartrix looks a little bit pompous, and I would imagine him sounding a bit like uh, Ash's Grovile did in the anime. Something like, Dartrix! Dartrix! Huh? Huh? Decidueye looks like he would sound like, uh, Do I? Do I? Do I? Litten looks like it would just meow, like, Rawr! Rawr! Torcat would have a stronger meow with a noise that sounds like a roaring flame at the tail end of it, like, Rawr! Rawr! And Incineroar, Rawr! Poplio, well, he's a tiny little sea lion, so I imagine he would sound like pa pa pa. I, I I won't be able to do the other ones; they're a bit too feminine for me. For the Pikapek line, Pikapek might just sound a bit jittery, like uh. And Trumbeak is one to be a bit noisy, so it might have a trumpety sound in its name, like uh. Trump, Trump, Beak, Trump. Two cannon might make a cawing kind of noise, like Doga, Doga. For the Grubbin line, Grubbin can make a cute little noise, like just its name said rather quickly, or a more realistic sounding noise. Grubbin, Grubbin, Grubbin. Chargebug would say its name, like, uh, Charger, Charger, Charger. But Vicavolt seems like it would buzz really loudly with an electric tinge added to it, like, <laughs> Crabrawler, he's small but spry, and I would imagine a deconstruction of his name, like Crabrawl, Crabrawl, Crabrawl. And Crabominable, being a woolly yeti crab, he would probably sound like Sort of like its in-game cry, actually. Rockruff, I would imagine, would have like a deconstructed bark of its name, something like Growlithe from the original series. <laughs> Lycanroc doesn't look like it would say its own name, something like a breakdown of maybe its Japanese name mixed with a howl of some sort. Midnight form would have a more sinister howl than the daytime form. Lugar! 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 Wishy-washy in its solo form would have a very wimpy sounding cute voice like Washi, washi, washi. And school form would have somewhat of a low bellow to it. Something that sounds like a distorted bubbly roar of its own name. With a bit of an echo too. <laughs> I would imagine Mudbray would like bray like a donkey would, like a little baby donkey. Okay, for Araquanid, I would take, say, the Araqua part of its name and then just bubbleize it. Shinotic, he's a bit creepy, a little alien looking, so I would imagine him sounding something like Shinot! Shinot! For Salandit, I would do like either a little chuckle or a breakdown of its name into the chuckle, like. <laughs> yeah. And Salazzle, I think, would make a hissing noise with a feminine flair. Now I would imagine a Ranguru and Passimian to be very human-like, saying parts of their names mixed in with a couple of human exclamations. Think like Alakazam from the original anime. Guru, guru, huh? Huh? Uh. Oh, oh. Passimian could say, pass, pass him, pass him. Like he's literally saying, pass the ball or give me this direction or do that. Wimpod looks very skittish, so I'd give it a voice that matches that. And it seems like one of those Pokemon that would say a breakdown of its Japanese name. Kashi, 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 
Kishi! Galisopod seems like it'd have a low bellow or given it samurai inspiration, maybe a martial arts type of yell. Its Japanese and English names are a bit similar, so maybe it'd sound like Gosa! Gosa! Or maybe an R rolling sound like Gar! Gar! Yeah! Taking a little inspiration from Ghastly. <laughs> Pukumuku, I imagine it would sound like it's spitting when it says its name. Pukumuku. It alternates between the two. Ooh. Ooh. And when the mask comes off. Shibai! 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 Minior would sound muffled and low baritone with the shields up, like. <laughs> shields down, it sounds really adorable, like. Mini! Komala's asleep, so it would probably just snore. Turton! Turton! I'd imagine Togetomaru would say its name all cute like, like all the other Pikachu clones. So Bruxish's teeth are gritting together, and it looks a bit devious with its smile, so I could bet him sounding like a. Jangmo would say its name, sort of like. Jangmo! Jangmo! Sort of like a Squirtle from the anime. Hakamo, I would imagine, sounding a bit like a Charmeleon. Come on! Ha! Ha! Come on! And Como, I see simply as roaring, not really saying its name. Maybe just like the beginning part of it, but it's kind of distorted. Go! Go! Alolan, Grimer, and Muck seem like they would sound even more disgusting than their Kanto counterparts. Maybe a bit of burping in the voice. Alright, finally, Ultra Beasts. Since these guys are Pokemon from another dimension, I can't imagine them sounding like something from our world. Think of the Regis, but even scarier. A demonic buzzing sound for Buzzwool is what I'd imagine. <laughs> Zerkitree would have a screech that's reminiscent of someone getting comically electrocuted. <laughs> Guzzlord is almost 100% mouth and is a voracious glutton, so maybe this awful burping roar sound. <laughs> And that should wrap things up! As the Sun and Moon anime progresses, we'll see how accurate or inaccurate my predictions were, but regardless, it was a blast coming up with different voices like that without any official reference. Once again, I gotta thank Marissa Lenti for giving me the inspiration to do this with her original video. You can check that out in the description below. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to me shred my vocal cords to ribbons, very much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified 100%, share this video with a friend, follow me on social media, check out the videos on screen, and uh, all that good stuff. And with all that said, I will see you guys next time. Later. Oh, and uh, happy 20th anniversary to the Pokemon anime. That is insane!